What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Tiny Rails, which is a train manager. And you guys know how I am about anything that has management. See, I've never got to be a manager at any of my jobs or anything like that. And so I have to satisfy myself with managing things in games and being like, yeah, I could do this. He's not so much better than me, Stan. Anyways, welcome on back. Uh, if at any point during this video you like the game, there's a bunny right there. You can go down below to the description and check it out. So let's check out another wonderful indie game, shall we? Let's play the game. Let's see what's going on here. I want to be a tra Oh my god, that train went to like warp speed. That was a little horrifying. I think I may have gotten myself- Hey, what's up, dear? How you doing, little buddy? A little four-pointer right there? Gotcha. He's not quite ready, though. He's not quite ready. Oof. I think fire just came off of our train. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, the day is finally here. Can you believe it? I feel like I've been waiting for ages for you to join me on my little train company. I'm not as young as I used to be. Having some family around will make things much easier and more fun. This old fella gonna take a rest. Let me introduce you to our conductor, Valerie. She'll show you the ropes. That's enough of that. That voice is... I, it's hard to convert all of the R's into W's. My dad had a speech impediment when he was a kid. The worst mistake he ever made was tell me about it. He couldn't say R sounds. And what's worse is you ever notice how people with speech impediments always have a name that has their impediment in it? Like people that have a lisp always have like an S in their name or like people that can't say R's always have like an R in their name. It's cruel, man. How does life know who to pick? How does the universe know who to pick? It's messed up, dude. Oh, it's not right. Hey there, what an exciting day for you. It's gonna be fun to have a new boss. I don't know if you're old. Or if you're just into like that new like thing where people dye their hair gray. I can't decide. I'm a little bit confused. As an old guy, I'm starting to get confused. Dude, I have gray hairs. It's horrifying. The easiest way to make money is to carry passengers. It's like I turned 30 and the side of my head, somebody just took a salt shaker to it. It's deeply upsetting, but I think it like it makes me look dignified. But dignity is not a look that I'm going for. Let's head up the line to the next station and pick up some paying customers. I Okay. Let's go down. Oh my god, we are in Livingston, New York, and we are going to Morris's town. All right, Morris's town. We're going to be there in just a minute. Prepare your Morris's for transport. Well, here we are in Morris town. Hopefully there are many Morris's who have many dollars to pay me for the transport of said Morris's. Morris's, get on board. Now that we have some folks on board, let's take a look at the passenger list. So we click on this little doobie up here. Passengers will pay their fares on arrival, keep them happy with entertainment or food, and they will pay a bit extra. Pay attention to what your passengers say and reviews for some hints on making their trips more enjoyable. Let's drop these folks off at the next station. All aboard. So we've got Mohammad, and then we've got Vanessa traveling to Denville. Denville, we've got Nick, who's got a hipster beanie. All right. We gotta ask Nick if he's got any of that dank with him right now. Just, I'm just saying, we could hotbox a train, dude. That seems like the kind of thing that they would put on your Facebook page under legend status. But like, that's right, we tacked out a train, homie. That's how we do it. To Denville, New Jersey. Dude, the wings seem really, really wobbly on that plane. I'm pretty sure somebody didn't mess with a rivet. Also, the plane was farting. It's very, very rude. I like my sky to smell pure and fresh. And unfortunately, if it's got plane fart in it, I can't smell that. All right, so we are in Denville, New Jersey. Oh, shit, we've made some gold. Dude, what currency are we... Like, what, it's, what, hold on, what year is it right now? Because we are trading raw gold. We're in America. Like, Morristown, New York, Denville, New Jersey. Like, we're in the States. Why aren't we trading dollars? What happened to our economy where we're actually trading, we're trading dinner plates of gold right now. Apparently, the economy is booming, my friends. All trial gold goes straight to the caboose. Okay, so the gold goes straight to our ass. That's understandable. What do you do with gold except for buy candy and ice cream? To collect the gold, click on the caboose. Give it a try. Okay, I will click on... Ooh. That was satisfying. Can I click on it more? Because I thought they gave me 172. Oh, the vault can only hold so many coins. Okay, let's put those gold coins to use by upgrading. All right, let's upgrade some shit. Upgrades will allow you to earn more gold. Yeah, I figured that much. All right, so let's get some. We got max speed here so we can get there quicker. All right, now we'll be able to get to stations faster and earn gold more quickly. Passengers are getting restless. All aboard! Everybody come along now. We're going to ride on a train going on to Paramus. Going out to Paramus, New York. It sounds kind of like Paranus, New York, but with an M instead of an N. Don't mix that up. They don't like it when you mix up the M with the N. Off we go. Oh, hello, Paramus. Wow, Paramus is closer. Dude, you guys gotta walk this distance, you lazy bastards. 
Like, it's seven kilometers. You could have ridden a bike and saved yourself a lot of money. Now that we've earned some more gold, let me show you the... There's a gumball machine. Oh, we get new cars. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Ooh, a gumball machine. On the left, you'll see how many cars are available at this rank. Once you acquire all the cars, you'll be able to buy a new caboose and engine. After you complete the set, the machine will rank up and you'll have brand new cars to collect. I like collecting cars. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do this thing. I don't know what a roll car is, but I, I somehow deeply want it added onto my... Ooh, an Old West food car. It's got stats. Awesome. The first car in the set is an Old West food car. Food and entertainment cars generate us more gold as we travel. Okay. That's pretty cool, and we can come back to the machine to get more. Can I... Does it automatically add to my train? Now that we have a new car... Yeah, I was going to say, I probably got to learn how to equip it somewhere, right? I figured as much. Let's do this thing. I'm going to edit my train. We can put something right... Ooh, hey, what's up? Nice. And so we have stats up here. So we have speed. We have, I assume, something else. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and look. So we've got... Does it have, like, a tooltip or whatever? Hold on. I wanted to look at my... Oh, man. Oh, the board! Sorry, you can't stop this train. This train is rolling. This does not seem good for the environment, though. I'll be honest with you. We're rolling coal right now. We're rolling coal hard. Now that you have a food car and a few passengers, your car is generating gold coins. You can click any food or entertainment car to get the gold. Okay. Give me your goldses. Ooh. Hello, gold. How are you? Yay! I don't want more gumballs right now. Ooh, there's 21 gold inside of there. Okay. So as we travel, it kind of stacks up a little bit of cash. I'll take the gold out of there right before we hit the station, because I assume that we're more than likely about to get paid, right? So we got 44 cars. You've proven yourself a worldly addition to your twin family. I feel like you're going to take this little company to the next left. Do we own a train? How small could the company be? As far as I know, if you can own a train, your family's pretty rich. I was going to wait to give you that, but I think you've earned it. If the deed of ownership, it was that easy, huh? Like, I didn't have to go to school and get, like, an MBA or anything? Like, an engineering? I don't know, even know. Like, an engineering degree to be a train engineer? I just get this? This seems like a markedly unsafe decision given my previous history. Why don't you wave it? Give it your own personal touch. I'm gonna call it the... <laughs> the Tokomotive. <laughs> God, I entertain myself too much sometimes. It's the Tokomotive. Yeah, <laughs> that's way to it. I have a really good feeling about this. Dude, if there was a train called the Tokomotive, I would totally ride on it. I would take it everywhere. I would skip out on plane flights altogether. You can get your ass kicked on a plane nowadays. Or you can take a leisurely ride on the Tokomotive and engage in these kind buds. Let's go! Oh, it took a black... It took like a... I forget what that's called. Oh, we've unlocked a USA East region. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You're just about ready to handle things on your own. Uh, there's a logbook. Okay. What do I need to build? I'm not a lumberjack, I'm a train guy. The logbook holds information. With jobs, your first quest is to visit Lance in New York City. Alright, so let's go to New York City. This map will let you know where your train is at and where it is going. Okay, cool. Uh, New York City. So there's Hartford, Connecticut. I don't think we want to go that way. What is this right here? So I go there. Wait, where are you? Oh, our train is like slightly... I thought that's where we were. Okay. All right, let's go for New York. Toot toot. When we arrive, we'll introduce you. Oh my, I was going to say, Hartford's a little north, man. I don't think we want to go there. I mean, it's close, but not quite. If you'd rather relax, but you can choose to depart for you when you're not going to auto depart. I don't want to auto depart. Oh, we can buy train stations, too. Ooh. What upgrades can I do? Can I hold max vault? Yes. There we go. I want to have more gold. Depart. All aboard. Why are people unhappy we're going to New York City? Dude, I'd be stoked AF if we had to go to New York City. I've never been to New York City. I've been to Boston. Boston was dope. I really, really liked East Coast cities. Like, I went to the North, although I did not like Northeast weather. I went to the Northeast in, like, February, March, and it was the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. I forgot to mention a couple things. Yeah, you seem to do that. Uh, cars will gain experience while you have them equipped. When they get enough, you can level them up. Ooh, cool. Downside is that your cars take a bit of wear and tear when you're out on the rails. They can get dirty or damaged. But we can clean and repair the cars. Okay, so we've got the repair tab, too. And so we need maintenance right here. We will click on the little wrench, and we will make our train better. Dude, I like this game so far. I can tell I'm going to have fun with this. All right, so we've got that all taken care of, and now we got to make the cars sparkle. Let's go ahead and, yes, yeah, sparkle bright. Oh, it got the mud off of it. That's true. It did have a lot of mud on that car right there. See, it's not realistic because the cars don't have graffiti all over them. Don't forget to regularly keep your cars maintained. They slow our train's progress and prevent people from jumping on. Oh, that explains why people were all, like, butthurt and salty about the fact that that explains a lot, actually. Ooh, the clink of gold. I love New York. There's just so much to see and do. There's my friend. Let's meet Lance, one of the best accountants on the East Coast. Hey, it's nice to meet you. 
I hear you're taking over your grandpa's company. There are all sorts of ways that I can help you out. For starters, I can help you adjust ticket prices. Oh, cool. So we can, like, set ticket prices. All right. You've upgraded and maintained your train consistently. Passengers are more likely to ride. They love to see rare and special cars. So get them from the gumball machine. Uh, we can set our ticket price. All right. I want to set my ticket price. How do I... Passengers... Passengers are skeptical. Well, like, if the passengers are more satisfied, are they more likely to eat at the restaurant? Because I'm just running things in my head right now. And technically, like... If they get happier and they spend money at other locations, I don't care if they pay the cost in their ticket price or if they pay their cost by eating fried chicken on my little cart. I don't really... I don't mind either way. Either way, I get paid. Like, it doesn't... Ooh, we made money right there. Let's get some upgrades. All right, so maximum passengers. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll take maximum passengers for right now. And then we'll take maximum speed to keep things moving along. And then where do we want to go for right now? Well, we've got a logbook. Uh, it's got our trainiary. Okay, so we can have different engines... We only have room for four passengers right now, which is a bummer. Gumball machine we can't do much with. Like, where are we going? It wants me to go to Hartford, Connecticut? I suppose we can go to Hartford, Connecticut. Let's go to Hartford, Connecticut, then. I don't know if that's where they want me to go by to start receiving additional bonuses at this station. Oh, cool. All right, let's depart. Ooh, people are happy with me right now. Yay, that's a new feeling. I work on the internet, and nobody's ever happy with me. This is, this is an, I might get addicted to this. This feels nice. This feels good. This feels, feels right. I'll be honest with you. It feels like we've come a long way to get here. Feels like we've come a long way to get here. So if they don't pay money inside of here, oh, it closes in like 10 minutes too. No, people are sad. Why are they sad? Are my cars busted? There you go. Fix my cars. Make them happier. Make them cleaner and more shiny. There we go. Put a fresh, like a fresh coat of, oh, there's a rock in the road. Oh, I gotta click the boulder out of the way. There was some hard work. We should be able to sell the cargo and make some gold. Let's get to a station. Oh, cool. So we apparently beat strawberries out of a rock. The magic of the locomotive industry, man. The magic of the locomotive industry. Deutsche. Dude, I got paid with a Deutschmark one time when I was working at Blockbuster Video. Like, this dude came in, and he didn't have any American money. He just had a bunch of Deutschmarks. And so I just gave him free rentals and then took the Deutschmarks and was like, I'm gonna put these in my collection. Slightly illegitimate. Sure, but I'd never seen a Deutschmark before. They were badass. Like, those coins were sick. I had to have them. What's up, Chief? Name's Hank. We do our best to keep these tracks clear. Every once in a while, you might find the tracks blocked. That's where my TNT comes in. Okay. I've added my track clearing to your services list. You've got the gold, flip the switch, and I'll clear obstacles automatically. No, I'll click it myself. Somebody mentioned some jobs. I got leads on a bunch of odd jobs you can do for people around the world. Let me show you how to make... Ooh, we got extra jobs, huh? Yeah, we got like a little quest log right here. We can have up to 10 jobs. So, if we go to the jobs menu, it looks like clear the track of obstructions. We can get some job points. It looks like a fun job. There's no such thing, dude. There's no such thing. It wouldn't be called a job if it was fun. It would be called recreation. If jobs choose to include specific destinations, you'll see them marked on the world map. The sooner you finish the job, I realize the irony of my position right here. I play video games for a living, so I think I've got the closest thing to a fun job. Maybe. Unless you're like a professional skydiver or something. Do we already get paid for that? Because it, it says collect right there. Yes. I Oh, we had to make a stop in Baltimore. Okay. Alright, we'll make a stop in Baltimore then, I guess. And then we've already cleared the track of obstructions, so we got some JP right there. We've got achievements, moments, or special events you'll find while you travel. Oh, because so I wonder if they're going to have little Stardew Valley type segments. Whoa! Gotta, sometimes you got to refill. How much money do we have in our vault right now? Nothing? You guys are earning zero cash? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Ooh, a little train light came on. In the city, the city with train lights. I live next to the train tracks, dude. That's my house back there. I'm not even kidding you. My house is closer, actually. You can throw a rock from my house and hit the train tracks. It was really loud when I first moved here. But then, like, you get used to it after a while. Like, I don't even hear it anymore, unless it's a particularly loud train. The freight trains are a lot louder than the passenger trains. So, like, when Amtrak comes through, it's not that loud. But, like, if a 100-car freight train comes through, it's so loud. Like, the walls and the floor shake and, like... Seriously, it'll rattle the dishes in the cabinet, but freight trains don't come through here there that often. You know, normally it's Amtrak. Like, you get Amtrak probably about 15, 20 times a day, but... Market. We should be able to sell the cargo we found at this station's market. We ought to make a nice profit. Yeah, sure, let's go sell some stuff. So, we found fish inside of a rock? Something tells me that's not the natural habitat of a fish. 
They're selling apples for less than the going rate. We should buy it and see if we can make a profit later on. Okay, so it's in green if we have those. What if I want more than one apple? Like, I love them apples. What What if I... Oh, I hit my max cargo limit. Hold on, I'm going to sell off my salmons. I'm going to sell off my, my salmonses. There we go, so that I can have more stuff. I also have strawberries. We found pizza in a rock. That is definitely pizza from a dubious source. I don't know if I trust. It's $11 pizza for a slice? Dude, that must be the best pizza in existence. That must be incredible pizza. Can I sell the onion for... Oh, I can sell the onion for 11 Yeah, sure, why not? And then I'm going to buy up all of your apples. Yes, give me all of them apples. And then, we're inside the station right now. Did we earn any money from our fares? It looks like it went straight automatically to our cash box. So that's okay. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can do right now. So for 100 we can go bigger, max cargo. We can go max weight. We can go max vault. Or... We can gumball up. I think I'm going to gumball up. Let's do a little bit of gambling. Because obviously a nice injection of gambling into a video game is a great way to keep me playing. Let's go ahead and gamble. We got a yellow car. What is this? A park car? What is a park car? Does it not move? It's parked. So it has four passengers and its weight is 7.8. I don't know if we can add that yet because our max weight is 20. So I would have to see what the weight is of the other cars that we have. So if I go to my... So how heavy is this? Is 3.5? Oh, we can probably add that in then. So let's go to our train menu. And I'll put in the park car right there. Yeah, level 1 park car. Shit, yeah. Um, what is... What's up with this car right here? How do I know when it levels? Because they said my cars level up. So where is its XP at so that I know when it levels? Or is it just going to be like ding, 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 ding? And tell me and have like a little glowy thing up at the top. So is everything good? Everything repaired? Everything... I guess we don't have to worry about the caboose. We don't have to worry about the engine. It's just the middle cars that we have to repair. Let's go ahead and we will run some repairs and some prettifications on the food car. Because obviously, the health department is just up my ass. I'll be honest with you. They, they are difficult to deal with. They're like the HR department of food service. Nobody likes them. And so we will depart. Off. Where did I say we were departing to? Or did it just pick a place for me? It picked a place for me. Well, good for you. What kind of jobs we got right now? We've got Alton. Huh? Let's see the job board. There are no jobs currently available. We can refresh it for 100 bucks, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and refresh it. So that one's bugged right there, and I can't tell what it is. 100 passengers in USA East we can do. There's a huge passenger man in the area right now. Railco can't keep up. It's a chance to steal some business. Sushi ingredients, earn gold from passengers. Yeah, I'll do that one. And then clear the track of boulders. Obviously, we'll be able to do that one, too. I don't know if I have to use help a farmer reach four county fairs. I don't have that yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think we'll just keep that on the deal. We're not generating extra cash because it's nighttime and our little car is closed. But how many passengers are we carrying right now? We have ten people on board. Okay. Who's on board right now? Providence, Rhode Island, Boston, Massachusetts... Concord, Dover, Delaware, Providence, Rhode Island, Trenton, New Jersey. Okay. So where are we going right now? We're going to Providence. Providence will take care of... Let me get back to my passenger manifest here. Providence will take care of a good grip of our passengers. And then, oh, look, there's actually... Tyriel has decided to ride with us. Good for him, man. Good for him. What does that mean? Is that very important people? Uh, we're going, so we got a bunch of people going to Providence. After Providence, it's probably a good idea to go to Boston. So let's plot that out. Boston is going to be right there. And then a lot of people want to go to, I think Concord was the other one that people wanted to go to. The only thing, there's a Concord near where I live. And the only Concord thing Concord is known for is Guitar Center. Like seriously, that's the only reason that anybody goes to Concord is to go to Guitar Center. If you, we gotta go to Dover, Delaware, Trenton, New Jersey. See, Trenton's back south, so I don't know if like I'm gonna go that way. Like Trenton should be back this way. Like we've got New York, and yeah, there's Trenton right there. There's also a quest in Baltimore. Hmm. I'll think about heading back that way. All right, we're coming into the station. Uh, I think we've made it to Providence. After this, it's gonna be on to Boston. We're shipping off to Boston. Woo! I loved Boston, though. I absolutely loved Boston. Boston was a fantastic city. I actually, I ditched out on PAX on the last day and just traveled around Boston because I figured if I'm going to be here, I might as well see something. Went to the monument. Uh, went downtown. I saw the, I think I saw the church that 
Paul Revere went to, Revere House or whatever it was. Got some awesome food, too. I found some Italian food out there that was just absolutely incredible. Uh, so we got some cash. I'm thinking what I want to upgrade next is max speed. Uh, we definitely got to bring... Oh, we need gumball rank, too, to get our speed up further. Good. Okay, so speed will get us to places faster than we would normally be there. Three people departed, so we did get paid. Am I able to wait out the clock, or do people get upset about that? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird that somebody boarded for Trenton, New Jersey. Like, I just don't see that happening. Like, the next group of people are going to Boston, and then we're going to pick up somebody. I bet in Boston we're going to find people that want to go to Concord. And so I think it'll be all right. It's just so happiness. 15 requires 60 happiness. So we need to get better at our jobs before people are going to want to hang out with us. I've got no cash to collect, so we might as well just get back up on the... Actually, let's check right here. How are apples doing right now? Salmon buys cheap here? Okay. Uh, let's take our apples. We're going to sell all of them. And we'll make a little bit of money off that. We made like 12 bucks. Not too bad. And then we've got six salmon over here. I'm going to buy the whole stack. Ooh, that's going to cost me... Actually, I can't do it. Never mind. Uh, for... There we go. That gets us close. At least we'll make a little bit of money, because I think those were selling for six profit, so we'll make 24 right there. Trading games right now, man. I love trading games. Trading games are my favorite. Uh, let's go ahead, and we will run repairs for right now. There it is. Can I not repair that car? Oh, I don't have any money. Okay, I gotta get paid, I think. Yeah, I think we gotta get paid before we're gonna be able to repair anything. I probably should have thought about that before I jumped headlong into this problem. But, you know, such is life. So we're about 25 kilometers out from Boston right now. If you've never had the chance, I do recommend train travel. It's just expensive as a plane ticket, though. Like, I took Amtrak one time all the way down from Northern California to L.A., and it was cool. It took, like, 15 hours to get there. It took forever with all the stops and everything. But it was cool having, like, a food car and being able to do whatever you wanted. Like, I just watched Netflix and played video games the whole time on my 3DS. And, like, there was a food car. There was an observation car that was made out of glass. I mean, it was a pretty cool trip. I'd recommend it as an experience. I mean, it's slower, but if you're not, if you don't have to be at a place as fast as, can I click on the bird? Your first VIP passenger. They pay bonus gold. Adding additional cars increases your chance to get VIPs. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we got paid out right there, so we got a little bit of cash. I'm thinking that it's time for us to do some beautification efforts. I, oh, I can tell it to repair all. Okay, can I tell it to clean all? Oh, good. We can actually, okay, cool. That's a very nice UI additive right there. I think that's a really good idea. So who are we going to pick up here? Well, we've got six passengers for right now. We've got people that want to go to Augusta. Uh, we've got Concord. So Nate wants to go to Augusta. He's a VIP and he wants to go to Trenton, dude. We're not going to Trenton, though. Like, that's the problem. Is like, Trenton's way down south. I see no reason to go back over there until we finish our loop up to the north. Maybe once I get to... Where, where is Dover at? So, hold on. Let's see. So, next stop is Concord. Then Augusta. We got Montpelier. Albany. Harrisburg. Washington, D.C. Baltimore. Oh, Dover's all the way back south. So, yeah, I'm thinking once we make it up to Augusta, we should flip a bitch and turn around. And then we'll come all the way down to Dover. And we'll do what we gotta do, I think, is probably the best way to do it. Uh, let me gamble on a new rail car and see what we can get here. Let me roll a car real fast and see what's going on. What'd we get? We got a fruit car. The fruit car has four weight and it adds cargo. So that's gonna allow us to carry it. It doesn't have any toilets, though. So keep an eye on that. Uh, if our weight can handle it, what is our maximum weight right now? Let me take a look at my train menu for a second. Our attributes at the moment are our weight is at 11, so we absolutely can add a fruit car. I'll put it in the back so that everybody else doesn't have to smell that mess. We don't have any new engines. We don't have any new cabooses. So there it is. Let me enter the market real fast. It looks like salmon is selling for a plus 5 profit here. So we will go ahead and sell that off. Yep, get rid of it. 88 bucks, very nice. And then we've got onions buying for cheap here. Uh, I will take all of those. I like the way the game just like tells you that you're making money. That's cool. I mean, it would be awesome if the game had an interface you could open to look at the prices in different places and plan out your trip. That would be something I would love to see in like a DLC, but I don't think this is the sort of game that's trying to be like heavyweight. I think this game is trying to be just a lightweight little fun train game. And I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, what is a video game supposed to be? Except for fun, like video games are supposed... Oh good, the food car is working again. That's good. I don't have any money in any of the other locations, but hey, life is moving along. We're back inside operating hours for the restaurant, so hopefully we can make a little bit of... Yeah, a little bit of cash there. Uh-oh. Uh, we can capture a monument. Oh cool, a George Washington statue. Yay. 
Why does it look like that part of town is underwater? Is it just me or does it look like the water has spilled over into the road? Dude, we have like a massive FEMA problem over here. Like somebody should probably come out here and give these people of Boston or whatever it is that's in between Boston and Concord. Somebody needs to give them some fish. That water ended kind of instantly. I'm like, uh, you know, the ocean comes, the ocean goes. Who knows how it works? Ask Poseidon. He's the only one. He's the only one. Poseidon, no. See, the thing that I'm running into is we keep picking up more passengers. All these people are going to Maine. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's take all these guys up to Maine and we'll see what kind of money we can make. We're about to make some cash in Concord, too. We're full up inside that car right there, too. Uh, keep rolling more cars, man. I see no reason not to. I'm gonna try and start doing this stuff on the road, because why not? What did we get? So we've got a yellow passenger car, plus two max passengers when using the yellow car. Okay. Nice. So we got the yellow car right there. Got about 200 bucks. What did we get paid for pulling into the station here? Probably a decent amount, because we had a lot of people that wanted to go to Concord. Uh, now that we got people in Concord, we're still inside operating hours for our restaurant. We can sell onions at a profit here. We can also buy some toilet paper, which apparently... Here, sell off the remainder of the onions. And then we've got toilet paper, just in case we come across any communities that really, really need to wipe their asses. Up until that point, though, we'll keep an eye on it. As far as upgrades go, let's go with... I don't think max weight matters right now. We'll go with uh, max vault because any money we're not actively utilizing seems like a waste to me. And so we'll just dump our profits into starting to move some of these meters along. There we go. So perfect. Uh, we've got that covered. Let's run our repairs. But I'll do that on the road. Uh, we're going up to Augusta. I think we're going to make a decent amount of money. I think this is going to be a good run for us. I don't know why I keep clicking that one. I need this one right here. Yep. Get everything cleaned up. And it doesn't look like there's anything else that needs to be repaired. So, without further ado, this game is called Tiny Rails. I will see you all in the next episode because I'm absolutely going to be playing this game more. I like it a lot, actually. It's got, for whatever reason, it's got those features that make me have fun. I can't add cars until we get to the next station, so I forgot to add my yellow car in. It's okay. We'll get it in Augusta before we head back south. It'll be cool. Now, if you want to get the game for yourself, check it out down below. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day. If you like what I do here, uh, you'll like it even better if you go over to Twitch TV. I go live multiple days a week on Fridays and Sundays specifically, and then I've got floating days in there too. If you wanted to come hang out for a little while and enjoy the live show, by all means, you are super welcome. I'll see you all next time, and hi-do, everybody.